I found Mr. Meadows in his office on the couch. He didn't look up from his phone and said something to the effect of, there's a lot going on, Cass, but I don't know. Things might get real, real bad on January 6th. New bombshell testimony alleging that on the day of the January 6th insurrection, former President Donald Trump said he didn't care that his supporters had weapons. Cassidy Hutchinson, a top aide to Trump's chief of staff, Mark Meadows, told the House Select Committee investigating the deadly Capitol riot that Trump was furious his rally on the ellipse didn't appear to be at maximum capacity. Hutchinson testifying under oath that the president was angry security magnetometers were being used on his supporters and that the secret service was turning away anyone with weapons. I was in the vicinity of a conversation where I overheard the president say something to the effect of, you know, I, I don't effing care that they have weapons. They're not here to hurt me. Take the effing mags away. Hutchinson said the former president and Meadows were aware of potential violence the day the election was being certified. Hutchinson also recalling a physical altercation with a Secret Service agent on January 6 after Trump insisted on driving to the Capitol. The president said something to the effect of, I'm the effing president, take me up to the Capitol now. The president reached up towards the front of the vehicle to grab at the steering wheel. Mr. Engel grabbed his arm said, sir, you need to take your hand off the steering wheel. We're going back to the West Wing. We're not going to the Capitol. We are in a very rural part of Missouri right now. Investigators are going through that wreckage, trying to figure out why a dump truck was sitting on the tracks. And NTSB investigators on the scene after that terrifying moment that an Amtrak train derailed after slamming into a dump truck. For a Amtrak train, County. Two train passengers and the driver of that truck were killed. More than four dozen people injured. On board the train, approximately 275 passengers and 12 crew members. I was on the side of the train that hit the ground first, and so everybody fell on top of us. The train was heading from Los Angeles to Chicago when it struck the dump truck in rural Missouri, derailing eight passenger cars and nearly turning the entire train on its side. 16 Boy Scouts from Wisconsin traveling on the train, also jumping into action, helping administer first aid to those hurt. They just were helping immobilize people on backboards and getting them out safely. It's not clear why the dump truck was on the tracks, its wheels seen here after the crash. But authorities say there are no crossing arms here, which is actually not unusual in rural areas. It's an uncontrolled uh, cross buck intersection on a gravel road, uh, so no lights, no electronic control devices.